afternoon, everybody. I'm still trekking on down to Laredo. Rolling down I-30 at the moment. Uh, I haven't quite hit Dallas yet. But uh, I noticed earlier that I had a comment from my dude. My dude, Big Money Grip. Yeah, that's the guy I was talking about the other day. No, complete sarcasm there on my dude, Big Money Grip. He's not... But, uh, yeah, he commented on, on the last video where I was talking about the, uh, giving the details of the driver paying gas, and he commented, uh, let me take a look, what exactly did he say again, I'm gonna post it as well, but he says, this guy is confused, me, yeah, I might be confused, yeah, some days I'm confused, some tea. Some days it's complete uh, clarity. And I'm stammering because somebody on the side of the road and the truck's over there just blowing down on me. Yeah, good times. Gotta love that truck etiquette. But anyhow. Oh shit. Bucky's. 55 miles away. Bucky's. God, duh. Stay focused, man. Focus. Focus focus. Anywho. So, yes, he says this guy is confused. He thinks fleet drivers are owner operators, which is wrong, he says, in caps to, to emphasize that I'm wrong. He put it in caps. I appreciate the emphasis there because I would not have realized that he was emphasizing how wrong I was. He says that fleet drivers have company cards, and he capitalized that as well. I'm not sure why he's dressing that, but emphasizing that, but we'll see. Okay, he wants to emphasize that it's a company card. Okay? Company gas cards because they don't own the vehicle like in all caps, owner, back to the lowercase, operator. So... One thing he's actually correct about is that fleet drivers are not owner-operators. Bravo. So, he's got one thing right so far out of the many things that he said that is absolute just diarrhea of the mouth. So, I'm not sure actually what point he's trying to make though, but he did say I was confused, so... I guess he could be kind of correct on two parts. I am confused, but <sighs> what he's trying to say is that if you are not an owner-operator, if you do not own the van, they, and you are driving the van for somebody that owns the van, the driver should get a fuel card. So he's saying that the owner should pay fuel. So in essence, I guess he's saying that the driver should either get a flat rate uh, per mile or that they should get the 40% of the 60-40 split. Not sure if that's what he's saying because he's, once again, like he normally does, he spews out opinions and accusations without any kind of factual anything to support his claim. And so, just like saying company car. So, in his mind, he refers to any fleet owner, any fleet owner, as a company, which they are their own business entity, so I guess they could be a company. But I guess what he's failing to realize is that as a driver for a fleet owner, you are still an independent contractor. You are still a 1099 earnings employee. Not, not, not employee, it's not employee, but you're, you're a 1099 gig worker, independent contractor. Okay, you are not a W-2 employee. So, he, him not realizing that and him saying that the owner should pay for gas based on a company card and because the driver doesn't own the vehicle, it makes absolutely no sense. 
I mean, I, I so badly want to say this guy's name so badly because he's such an idiot. Like, he is such a complete and utter retard. Uh, and proof of it is, is he, he hides behind aliases. He doesn't even have his own true name on Facebook. Uh, he doesn't, and if he was somebody that was so concerned about what I'm doing, and that I'm doing such wrong for this industry, and he is so adamant about helping the industry, and doing so many, so much good for the industry, why is he blocking me on Facebook to where I can't see him on anything? Why is he speaking my name behind my back and in private as opposed to in my face and talking to me directly? Guess because he's full of shit? Maybe that's one. Maybe he's a pussy. Maybe he is just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Just retarded, I guess. I don't know. Incompetent. Yeah, I feel like I got Tourette's trying to describe this guy. But, uh, you know, and this guy talking about company gas cards and fleet drivers and fleet owners and all this. This coming from a guy who doesn't even own his own vehicle. And he's going to tell you how you should be doing things. This guy, who is in, last I heard, still in a leased vehicle due to an accident that he had in his original vehicle, which was a curtain side vehicle because, once again, the curtain sides, as I've told you my opinion, it is a niche. It's a niche that I'm not okay with altogether because, again, it's not like they're just creating a certain niche and staying within uh, legal uh, guidelines. You know, they're usually running those things heavy, but can't prove that, so it's just speculation on my part. I'm not saying he is, I'm just speculating that I believe that the people driving those do do that on occasion. By occasion, a lot. Uh, but yeah, he's driving a leased vehicle, I believe, and when he, in the vehicle that he had an accident in, whether or not it was his fault, I don't know. Like I said, I don't, he doesn't concern me that much that I go digging too deep into the guy, but he's getting me to the point that I will. And I, I don't think he'll like it if I do. But uh, he got into an accident in his previous vehicle, which wasn't his. He did not own that vehicle. He does not own his current vehicle. At least at last, uh, at last uh, I heard. So that first part of that comment, you know, coming from somebody who can't even, uh, doesn't even walk the talk. You know, he doesn't walk the walk that he's talking about. He's just, like I said, he's just a POS. He's just an absolute BSer. Uh, and again, you guys start to disagree with him. Watch the idiot come out in him. If you disagree with him, he com he becomes a complete and utter uh, moron. He's like he's like the incredible idiot. You know, the incredible hawk. When he gets mad, he turns into not just a normal idiot. He turns into an incredible idiot. But. Uh, so, the second part of it, he's talking to me directly now. Dude, you can twist your gas scam all you want, but the only driver you will ever scam will be a complete fool and will keep you forever searching for drivers. Now, you want to say I'm scamming somebody? Please. Please elaborate. Please tell me what my scam is. How am I scamming them? By them paying for the fuel that is used on a 60% side of things. So if I switched it around and I took the 60 and I paid for fuel and the driver's getting 40, is that no longer a scam? Or am I then scamming myself? I'm curious about that. Because I don't understand what he's even trying to even remotely in his twisted, jacked up little pea brain mind of his what is he trying to say that my scam is? I don't know. Where does he think that I'm getting anything? Uh, I, 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 I can't, I, I really, I'm, I'm at a loss right there because I have no idea what he thinks I could be scamming. I just don't get it because he doesn't elaborate because I don't think he can, he can put out too many sentences.
sentences in a row, especially in, in them be coherent and cohesive messages. So, I don't know. I don't know. You guys judge for yourself. I'm not going to spend too much more time uh, uh, dealing with this dude. It's just I'm using it as a opportunity to say some things that I've wanted to say because uh, he's just irritating. And now that I see that he's 100% uh, lurking in my channel, I'm going to let him have it. Like I said, he knows where, where I am. He knows how to find me. Anytime he wants to have a discussion, I uh, I welcome a a on camera debate of things. I offer an on camera discussion, debate, whatever you'd like to call it, conversation. Oh, sorry, had an alarm go off. But yeah, yeah, I would I would put the camera up and have a conversation with the guy. Let him put out anything he's got a problem with, and I can put out anything I have a problem with. You know. But yeah, to tell me that I'm scamming drivers, just absolutely, just, just ridiculous. I mean, just absolutely pitiful. But hey, he can try. I guess he's getting his few minutes of fame, you know, <laughs> so to speak, even though he won't even put himself out there. If you do, you ever feel like saying who you really are so we can just put it all out there, go ahead, put your name in the comments. Uh, the next thing I'm sure he'll do, he'll, uh, He'll try to he'll try to uh, make me look bad in some kind of way, like he's tried to do before. He, he doesn't understand. I don't hide from nothing. I don't I don't lie about anything. I don't misrepresent anything I do. So I'm 100% confident in what I do, how I do it, and uh, the manner in which I do it. So it is what it is. Uh, yeah, it seems like there was something else I just wanted to touch on with that. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, fun times, man. Yeah, just rant over. Rant done. Your hustle got to be strong in this industry, as in any other industry.